So microscopically, I think we've already gone through the most important morphological features of multilocular cystic renal neoplasm of low malignant potential. This is going to be a well-circumscribed, purely cystic mass based in the renal cortex that is going to have a fibrous pseudocapsule at the periphery, as well as multiple thin septations dividing the tumor into differently sized cysts. The cyst lining is going to consist of one or two layers of cuboidal clear cells with low-grade G1, G2 um, nuclei that are haphazardly arranged within the cell cytoplasm. Also, um, sometimes there are small clear cell aggregates present in the fibrous stroma of the septa, but these cell aggregates will not alter the contours of the septa, and they will, of course, not exceed a diameter of a 20x microscopic uh, field. Overall, there is going to be no solid expansile growth, no necrosis, no rhabdoid or sarcomatoid differentiation. There isn't going to be any lymphovascular space invasion. The mitotic rate would be low. There would be no atypical mitoses. All of these features are incompatible with the diagnosis of multicystic, multilocular cystic renal neoplasm of low malignant potential and should prompt consideration of a clear cell renal cell carcinoma with cystic changes. Immunohistochemically, multilocular cystic renal neoplasm of low malignant potential has an identical or very similar immunoprofile with that of CCRCC. It is um, positive for EMA. It is positive for CK7. It might show a more intense staining for CK7 than a conventional solid CCRCC because, as a thing to remember, CK7 usually shows a more intense staining in areas of cystic change. And MCR and LMP, being by definition an entirely cystic mass, will of course show more CK7 reactivity. Um, it is of course positive for PAX8 and it is also positive for CD10. CA9 shows that characteristic diffuse membranous circumferential staining, um, box shaped staining pattern of CCRCC. On the molecular level, multilocular cystic renal neoplasm of low malignant potential shows alterations of the DHL gene. This is similar to CCRCC. So, multilocular cystic renal neoplasm of low malignant potential may be seen in a sporadic setting, but also in a syndromic setting, occurring in von Hippel Lindau syndrome. In most instances, we see a complete loss of chromosome 3. Sometimes um, there is loss of only the short arm of chromosome 3, 3P. That is where the um, DHL gene locus is located. In a minority of cases, only inactivating mutations of the DHL gene are ident identified by fish analysis.